All right, hello everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new so we're gonna do something pretty cool today guys we're actually gonna look at real stats behind these assault rifles and we're gonna break it down which assault rifle is actually the fastest killing gun in modern warfare 2 so hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video and make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it help support the channel and it shows me i'm doing something right and uh yeah let's just get into the video all right so let me show you guys this really really awesome website as you can see man th there's just so much to look at here when i saw this website i was like bro this is absolutely insane this makes my life easier because i'm one of those stat nerds where i really love to just take a look at the stats and the numbers because i want to know exactly what is the best gun to use on paper you know I i'd like to know that kind of stuff so this website is called sim.gg i'll leave a link down below in the description and uh, they pretty much like offer stats on literally everything that you can imagine but as you can see here they're still working on the attachment uh stats coming soon which i don't blame them man this year's call of duty is very very complicated there's weapon tuning there's multiple attachments many different types of combinations that you can roll with so it makes the whole class setup idea just a lot more random this year and definitely more catered towards what you personally feel like is the best attachments so uh yeah but you know shout out to these guys for taking the time to be able to put up all these numbers and stats for us this this makes people like me my life a lot easier as well because uh, i used to do these hand testing by myself and you know it's absolute hell man it, it's it's definitely a process but anyways with this web website you can literally uh you know categorize it assault rifle smg battle rifle etc etc and then you know pick whatever weapons you want to go ahead and compare so this is really really nice to look at uh for example the cast off 762 we get a nice little print here of the gun and oh wow i actually just noticed this you can actually uh select a bl blueprint and i'm sure this is going to be coming soon as well so yeah this website is literally goaded guys shout out to these guys this is amazing and then here we have stats for literally everything that the game doesn't tell you this is why this gives us a really really nice insight and an advantage to uh what actually works and what doesn't so i can't wait for the uh the stats to come out for the attachments now uh you can also change the damage range here uh you know depending on you know what you're interested in what gun is going to be effective at different ranges and then also you do have uh, a little picture here with different damage profiles according to the limbs as you can see here so this is very helpful because because, uh, for example, headshots. Headshots on the cast off 762, you're going to get 56 damage. All right. So, obviously, if you want to kill your opponents as fast as possible, 56 damage to the head. That should tell you a lot right there. And then, uh, as we move down here, this is the nitty gritty, the important stuff that I want to cover today the time to kill comparison. So, uh, another cool thing I want to feature, uh, point out here in this feature is boom, you want to look at the headshot TTK? It's different, obviously. And here for the chest. And then for uh, the uh, arm here or the shoulder area, man, dude, this website is just crazy detailed, dude. So, yeah, the main thing we're going to focus on here is the upper torso because, you know, in reality, in matches, this is where we mostly uh, aim because it's the biggest target on our opponent. So... Uh, let's just get into this thing. So this is pretty much mostly all of the assault rifles here. We're going to have to take a mental note and uh, break it down, obviously, as we go on. Because we can only fit about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven when there are actually eight assault rifles. So let me uh, verify. Yeah, so we're missing the TAC-56, which is actually a heavy hitter in the game. So we're actually going to remove the M16 because I already know that's the least favorite gun for the assault rifle category. Uh, but for now... Let's just go ahead and take a look at the TTK. So ironically, you have the M16 as the fastest killing gun in the game stat wise. Now, the reason why I wouldn't classify it as absolute meta is because it's a burst weapon and it just makes it a bit of a disadvantage. You know, if you miss your shots, it's fairly unforgiving. Obviously, uh, you're going to die faster. The TTK is uh, just relatively fast in this game. So obviously, that's not going to put you at an advantage. Uh, but for stat nerds out there, including myself, it's nice to know 148 milliseconds. Now, if we're going to remove the uh, the M16 and we're actually going to swap this with the TAC-56, all right, so I, pr I apologize, M16 fans, but uh, we kind of have to do this for the sake of the video. So, uh, yeah, so we got the STB 556, fastest killing assault rifle on paper up to about this 15 meter range. This is what's pretty amazing about this website, too, is that the more that you move your uh, mouse over certain ranges, 
all the stats start to change as well as the meters so that's something to note as well so up to 15 meters close range stb 556 is definitely the fastest killing one and then you have the uh it looks like the cast off 74 u at 184 milliseconds and then the tac 56 at 192 milliseconds so i guess you can say if you're gonna break it down by range Close range, the king is going to be the STB 556, which I actually do have a class setup on. I'll make sure to put the link down below in the description. I love the STB 556. Next up, we have the cast off 74U and then the attack 56. So if I were to rank these one to three best for close range, I think I might actually have to go with the STB and then the cast off 74U and then the TAC-56. Mobility wise, the TAC-56 is not as great as the cast off 74U. And also on paper, the cast off 74U, the cast off 74U does have a faster TTK. So it is what it is in that situation. All right, now let's move on to the 20 meter range. Let's see who's got the edge here. 20 meter range, we have the cast off 74U once again. All right, and then the TAC-56 then who's up next here and then the cast off 762 so as you can see most of these weapons here they're fairly competitive at certain ranges obviously so i think uh the edge has to go with the cast off 74u both in the close and the mid range as far as multiple situations go because the farther you move into longer ranges the stb tends to fall here in ttk now if you want something a little bit more uh specific to the close and mid range type of maps then you got to go with the cast off 74u hands down i mean 184 milliseconds at this 21 meter range and then at close range it's got 184 now uh interesting thing to note here though the cast off 76 2 from close to medium range you actually get a consistent ttk of 200 milliseconds so in my previous videos that i've posted about the 762 i've always said that it is the most consistent gun in the game so right now we're just breaking down by range what's the fastest gun on paper so uh like i said close range stb is king mid range i would say the cast off 74u we have the tac 56 as the leader here on paper at 192 milliseconds and then the cast off 76 2 which is king once again at 200 milliseconds i think this is what makes the cast off so broken uh the 762 that is because at pretty much up to 45 meters you keep that 200 millisecond time to kill so guys don't don't sleep on the 762 i know a lot of people they're busy using the 74u which is actually not a bad gun as you can see here it, it holds its own uh up to this mid range here uh but as we move on further there doesn't appear to be another gun actually stb 556 does keep a pretty consistent ttk from about the 16 meter range all the way out to this 46 meter and then for the extreme long range gunfights the 74u obviously has the worst ttk but the tac 56 is a pretty viable one here uh but again the cast off 762 all the way at the bottom remember if you're looking at this graph on your own in your own time the lower the bar the better it is okay that we want the faster ttk so that belongs to the cast off 762 once again and at these longer ranges this is when it starts to become a little bit more competitive between mostly all the assault rifles in the game as far as up to this 45 meters and beyond the 74u is just going to be lacking there as far as ttk so that's something that you have to keep in mind when you're using this gun you got to keep this uh range very close if you're using this 74u but as far as overall TTK goes, I think the king is just going to go to the 762. There is no comparison here, man. I mean, this has the fastest TTK at pretty much all ranges. Most consistent, that is. All right, so let's go ahead and take more of a tour here now that we've pretty much broke down what is the best and absolute meta for the assault rifles here. So let's go ahead and talk about headshots, though. Headshots. Wow, this is clear. Bro, this is insane. 100 millisecond time to kill with the cast off 762 to the head up to this 45 meter range. I think realistically, a lot of us will get those headshots at mid range. So I would say about up to 30 meters. This is prob uh, probable uh, with the. Okay, so the cast off 74U and the 762 are kings at headshots. 
Everything else pretty much lacking over there. I mean, this is, you know, technically not bad TTKs uh, for the rest of the assault rifles, but it's quite clear, man. The 74U and the 7.62 are king when it comes to headshots. So unless you're getting a chest shot, some of these other weapons may stand a chance in certain situations. But uh, other than that, it, it seems like a very cast off dam dominant, uh, you know, TTK here. As you can see, all the limbs dominant. Cast off 74U and the 762. Pretty dominant for the limbs. Yeah, man. This is pretty good information to know, guys. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys did learn something here so far. Now, let's go ahead and move on. Let's take more of a tour here. There's more damage and stats that we can look at. So, this gives you a bit of a perspective of why the 762 and the 74U are pretty much supreme. Because we get the most damage here, as you can see. So this is the opposite of TTK chart. The higher the bar, the better it is. Because obviously, we're looking at damage here on the left uh, per shot and then the distance. So up to this range, we get about uh, 38 damage here with the 7.62. And then up to close range, we get uh, about 40 damage with the 74U. Pretty insane stuff, guys. Then uh, as you move on down here, this is something that you guys can you know explore on your own. Average time to kill. And then you do have damage profile here to the left with the character. All right. Probability of achieving TTK. This is actually pretty insane stuff here. Then you can also mess around with the percentages, weighted value. This is all like pretty, pretty advanced stuff, guys. And also you do have a chart here, it seems, for mobility. Non-ADS movement speeds while firing. ADS movement speed while not firing. Wow, this is pretty insane stuff, guys. This is definitely some stuff that you can play around with uh, if you are curious, man. This is, this is like pretty much a playground. What? This is insane. Guys, this is pretty much like the... F uh, guys, it's pretty much one of my first times really just taking an in-depth look here at this website. It's pretty insane, guys. Wow. No way, dude. This is crazy. Dude, the amount of work put into this website is pretty, pretty respectable, guys. I'm very, very impressed, guys. Stat comparison here with muzzle velocity, burst delay. Man, this is all incredible information for all of us stat nerds here. Wow. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to do a quick comparison and just, you know, give you guys the nitty gritty, uh, the overall what is actually the best gun to use in the game? What's the most popular? What is the meta, etc.? So yeah, you guys got your answer. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Found something helpful, useful. Uh, yeah, let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to see SMGs. I'll probably cover that in the next video. Make sure to leave a like. Shows me I'm doing something right. And subscribe to make your way back to the channel. George Termination today. Make it official. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day.